welcome to the Wednesday Wire. I'm your host, Carrie Gallagher, and if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. After all, we're no longer fighting about deep political divides on social media. Instead, we're arguing about where to part our hair and what goes best with a ridiculous argument. You guessed it, mediocre jokes. Let's dive in. The $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill has passed in the Senate and House. The robust bill includes a $1,400 stimulus check for those who qualify by income, increased unemployment benefits through September, and more aid to finally get production up and running on the new Tiger King movie. Democrats really know what's important. Peeps is releasing a marshmallow-inspired makeup line just in time for Easter. Not to be outdone, Chick-fil-A is releasing an anal bleaching cream set and it's ranch flavored. Yeah, that's a real fun surprise for your boyfriend. Uh-oh, folks. Canceled Island is getting pretty crowded. And I hope the concierge has extra Febreze and guacamole because one-way tickets were just issued to Pepe Le Pew and Speedy Gonzalez. Yup. People are comparing Pepe Le Pew to Harvey Weinstein, which I get. I totally get it. But um, how can you cancel something that is no longer relevant? Literally nobody cares about Pepe Le Pew. I mean, while you're at it, cancel culture, you might as well cancel uh, Crystal Pepsi and AOL Instant Messenger and The Fray. Also, look at what Fluffy is wearing, okay? I mean, I'm not saying she's asking for it, but I'm not saying she's not not asking for it, okay? And, and, and Speedy Gonzalez, oh, everybody loves Speedy Gonzalez. Really, we're gonna cancel him? I mean, He's a Mexican who outsmarts the authorities time and time again. That's half the population of Phoenix. We all love Speedy Gonzalez. And what's next? Dr. Seuss? Are we gonna, are we gonna cancel Dr. Seuss? Uh, what's that? Oh, we are canceling Dr. Seuss. How come? Is it because it looks like all of his books were written while he was on shrooms? I mean, that's pretty good read. Oh, it's because of racism. I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. Oprah's two-hour interview with Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, aired on Sunday, confirming what we already know. The royals are a bunch of assholes. This fire crotch is furious, as he should be. The royal family is creating falsehoods that Meghan was a bully to staff members. Ah, uh, you're not a bully if you're encouraging someone to get Invisalign. And why doesn't the royal family focus their malice towards Prince Andrew? This dude hung out with Jeffrey Epstein on the reg and is an overall piece of garbage with a very punchable face. Leave Meghan and Harry alone. I mean, Megs has already been through it, okay? She worked 10 years as a waitress in LA just to score a gig as a briefcase girl and then finally gets a role on Suits. Gosh, she has paid her dues. That show is terrible. Maybe find something else to focus on, Queen Elizabeth. I don't know, like learning how to use Excel. Anything. Aren't you too old to get caught up in this drama? Mama. My God, UK, you guys must be so bored. Is it just because you have to spend all day inside because it just rains every day and it's cloudy and it's gray? I don't know. Go to a tanning bed. Figure it out. But I am all about hashtag free Britney and hashtag leave Harry and Meghan alone. Edie Falco will play Hillary Clinton in the third installment of FX's American Crime Story, the new series will focus on Bill Clinton's impeachment. More importantly, who is going to play the blue dress? Now, word on the street, Joaquin Phoenix has the role and he's uh, going real method for it. Traffic accidents rose in 2020, even as Americans drove less and fewer miles during the pandemic. And that's because we were all drunk. That was the only way we could survive 2020. 
or uh or maybe we were just on ambient right tiger just on ambient well folks that's been our show if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead click that button i'll be back in a couple more wednesdays stay safe and i don't know order doordash peace